Today, we're delving into the fascinating yet dangerous world of reptiles as we explore the realm of the world's most poisonous snakes. From the intricacies of their venomous bites to their remarkable adaptations, join us on this thrilling journey to uncover the secrets of these deadly serpents. Here is top 5 of the world's most poisonous snakes and how they look. The common krite, also known as Bengal krite, is a species of highly venomous elipid snake of the genus Bungerus native to the Indian subcontinent. It is a member of the big four species that inflict the most snake bites on humans in Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh. The average length of the common krite is 0.9 m or 2 feet 11 inches, but it can grow to 1.75 m or 5 feet 9 inches. Males are longer than females, with proportionately longer tails. The head is flat and the neck hardly evident. The body is cylindrical, tapering towards the tail. The tail is short and rounded. The eyes are rather small, with rounded pupils, indistinguishable in life. The head shields are normal, with no lorials, for shields occur along the margin of the lower lip. The third and fourth supraoculars touch the eye. The scales are highly polished, in 15 to 17 rows, the vertebral row is distinctly enlarged and hexagonal. Ventrals number 185 to 225 and caudals 37 to 50, and are entire intact. Their coloration is generally black or bluish black, with about 40 thin, white crossbars, which may be indistinct or absent anteriorly. Albino specimens can be found, although such cases are extremely rare. The pattern, however, is complete and well-defined in the young, which are marked with conspicuous crossbars even anteriorly. In old individuals, the narrow white lines may be found as a series of connected spots, with a prominent spot on the vertebral region. A white preocular spot may be present, the upper lips and belly are white. Russell's viper is a venomous snake in the family viperity native to the Indian subcontinent and one of the big four snakes in India. It was described in 1797 by George Shaw and Frederick Polydor Nader and named after Patrick Russell, who wrote about it in his 1796 work An Account of Indian Serpents. Collected on the coast of Coromandel, Russell's viper grows to a maximum body and tail length of 166 centimeters or 65 inches and averages about 120 centimeters or 47 inches in mainland Asia. In islands, it is slightly shorter on average. It is more slender than most vipers. Russell's viper is terrestrial and active primarily as a nocturnal forager. However, during cool weather, it alters its behavior and becomes more active during the day. Adults are reported to be slow and sluggish unless pushed beyond a certain limit, after which they can become very aggressive. Juveniles, though, are generally more nervous. When threatened, they form a series of S-loops, raise the first third of the body, and produce a hiss that is supposedly louder than that of any other snake. When striking from this position, they can exert so much force that even a large individual can lift most of its body off the ground in the process. These snakes are strong and may react violently to being picked up. The bite may be a snap, or they may hang on for many seconds. The black mamba is a species of highly venomous snake belonging to the family Elapidae. It is native to parts of Sub-Saharan Africa. First formally described by Albert Gunther in 1864, it is the second longest venomous snake after the King Cobra. Mature specimens generally exceed 2 m or 6 feet 7 inches and commonly grow to 3 m or 9.8 foot specimens of 4.3 to 4.5 m or 14 to 15 feet have been reported. Its skin color varies from gray to dark brown. Juvenile black mambas tend to be paler than adults and darken with age. 
Despite the common name, the skin of a black mamba is not black, but rather describes the inside of its mouth, which it displays when feeling threatened. The black mamba is both terrestrial and arboreal. On the ground, it moves with its head and neck raised, and typically uses termite mounds, abandoned burrows, rock crevices, and tree cracks as shelter. Black mambas are diurnal. In South Africa, they are recorded to bask between 7 and 10 a.m. and again from 2 to 4 p.m. They may return daily to the same basking site. The inland taipan, also commonly known as the western taipan, small-scaled snake, or fierce snake, is a species of extremely venomous snake in the family Elapidae. The species is endemic to semi-arid regions of Central East Australia. Aboriginal Australians living in those regions named the snake Danderabilla. It was formally described by Frederick McCoy in 1879 and then by William John McClay in 1882, but for the next 90 years, it was a mystery to the scientific community. No further specimens were found, and virtually nothing was added to the knowledge of this species until its rediscovery in 1972. The inland taipan is dark tan, ranging from a rich, dark hue to a brownish light green, depending on season. Its back, sides, and tail may be different shades of brown and gray, with many scales having a wide, blackish edge. These dark marked scales occur in diagonal rows so that the marks align to form broken chevrons of variable length that are inclined backward and downward. The lowermost lateral scales often have an anterior yellow edge. The dorsal scales are smooth and without keels. The round snout head and neck are usually noticeably darker than the body. The darker color allowing the snake to heat itself while exposing only a smaller portion of the body at the burrow entrance. The eyes are of average size with blackish brown irises and without a noticeable colored rim around the pupils. Saw-scaled vipers are small, but their irritability, aggressive nature, and lethal venom make them very dangerous. When alarmed, saw-scaled vipers will move slowly with the body looped into S-shaped folds. The oblique scales are rubbed against each other to produce a hissing sound, which is a defensive alarm used to warn potential predators. These snakes are, however, quick to strike, and mortality rates for those bitten are high. In the regions where they occur, it is believed that saw-scaled vipers are responsible for more human deaths than all other snake species combined. Echis, with common names, saw-scaled vipers and carpet vipers, is a genus of vipers found in the dry regions of Africa, the Middle East, India, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan. They have a characteristic threat display, rubbing sections of their body together to produce a sizzling warning sound. The name Echis is the Latin transliteration of the Greek word for viper. Like all vipers, they are venomous. Their common name is saw-scaled vipers, and they include some of the species responsible for causing the most snake bite cases and deaths in the world. As we wrap up our exploration of the world's most poisonous snakes, one thing becomes clear, nature's diversity never fails to amaze and humble us. From the swift strikes of the inland taipan to the mesmerizing patterns of the black mamba, these creatures remind us of the delicate balance that exists within ecosystems. Remember, while these snakes may evoke fear, they also play a crucial role in maintaining the intricate web of life. Thanks for joining us on this eye-opening adventure. Don't miss out on our future videos by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. Stay curious, stay safe, and until next time, take care.